up everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. Now at first glance it might look like nothing has changed in the last video. And that's because I have made two separate saves of the account. So this is basically where we ended off the last video with our still the same size pretty ugly base up there. And we had just finished off the power construction. Now what I decided I wanted to do was build the factory floor and then get a working set of machines set up and what I decided to go for was to have the biofuel generation set up so I'll jump over to the other save in a minute and show you but what I've done is I set up the biofuel generation you know what? it'll be a little easier how about I just show you let's go uh, recording world yay and you'll see couple little changes. Nothing major. Nothing completely the over top. I mean, it's it's not like I forgot to record and built the entire factory. So I made a little bit of an error of judgement. I was just sitting here playing the game whilst watching I think it was House with Kira talking about baby stuff and yeah, I kind of built the whole factory. So let me give you a quick tour of what we've got. I'll start with the biofuel, because the biofuel is the first system I made. So how it works is, I've got two boxes here, the starting ones. This one gets wood, this one gets leaves. Actually, I can even show you. So leaves go in there, wood goes in there. They go through into these two constructors. This one turns leaves into biomass, this one turns wood into biomass. They then get pumped out. And they go through... Can I jump up here, please? I can. They come through a conveyor merger. And feed into this one here, where they're making biofuel. They then get spat out of there, where they are fed into these three storage containers. Now they are... They should be empty at the moment. There we go. And now that is because, after they get fed into here... They get fed up here. So, not all of them come up into ones up there, just this third one leads into that box there. So, if we take a look in here, that is almost full of biofuel. However, this one, completely full of biofuel, and that one, also completely full of biofuel. So, we have now got a lot of biofuel. That being said, the amount of biofuel we have is nothing on the amount of concrete we now have. So we've got three boxes there, and we've got three boxes here gradually being filled. And then, once they're done, these ones will fill up. So the biofuel stuff is colour-coded green, concrete is colour-coded yellow, and if we can get over to here, my iron production, you can't really see it in this light, is all blue. So the iron comes in from those two farming stations, goes into here, and it gets separated here into three different smelters. Decided to do it as three instead of the, just the one um, crafter I've got there because I figured getting iron a bit faster would be helpful. So once the iron comes out, this center smelter is just making ingots. So we have already got one, uh, two, three, and a half because that one up there is almost full of iron ingots. Then we've got this one here, going into there, making plates. Bottom one, full of plates. That one, not full of plates. However, feeds up into these ones. So those top two should be full. And then this third one we've got running here is making the iron rods for us. Now if you look in there, the ones at the bottom aren't always full because that's where I've just been grabbing them from. So they go up into here where they then have a conveyor here feeding them into this one let me jump across quickly they come out the back of here they go all the way round and into this one they were originally going into that one however it filled up so I stuck another one on top and that is all of our iron production these are all the machines I've got set up so far so we have got an absolute ton of plates, ingots and rods we have got a ton of concrete, and we have a ton of biofuel. 
these boxes here are all filled with copper. I have farmed an absolute ton of it. I've got a nice area out the back of the factory here. This is what I'm going to be doing probably in the next video, not this one. This is going to be where I'm setting up a reinforced iron plate production line because that's going to take quite a few different machines. Oh, I should also show you if we can come over to here. For the hub upgrades, I finished them. All of the hub upgrades have been completed, which means that we need something to do. So, I have got everything I need to make the space elevator. Only issue is, it is blimmin' huge. Now, as you'll see, there's a notification on the top of my screen there called Sam. I'll show you what that's about in a minute. So, here is our space elevator. Let's find a good spot for it. So, I see there is a interaction terminal here. I think there is a good spot for it. That takes so many resources. Lucky I've got my factory up and running. Boom. Look at that. I don't even know how tall this thing is. Does it just go on and on, or is... I think that's it until it gets powered. Ooh, there's something up there. What has appeared directly above our space elevator? Ooh, it's standing up. And it has... Caught a grapple hook from space. Are we trying to tow the entire planet? Okay. Stuck a probe in. And the satellite has apparently landed. Now is Ada going to talk to us? I'd imagine she would, but we might have to interact with the little box over here. I'm going to turn the music down a little smidge. I know it's probably not that loud for you, but it is quite loud for me. Let's put it down to there. Right. Let's see what this is going to say. Uh, 75 reinforced iron plates and 50 rotors. Right. Space Elevator Resource Delivery 1. Project Assembly Platform. Delivery will unlock Tier 3 and 4. Load resources. Okay, so we have to send deliveries up into space. And the first delivery is 75 reinforced iron plates and 50 rotors. De yeah, next video we are definitely going to be making the reinforced iron plate factory. We probably have enough resources to do all of that now. However, I don't want to spend an absolute age because it is kind of one in the morning my mistake what I want to do is go over here have a look at the hub and see if it's giving us the options for the space elevator upgrade tier set thing because if we can get a few more inventory slots that would be very nice uh, complete the space elevator phase one no it hasn't oh that is very odd I thought it would, since we have now placed the space elevator. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to stick those resources into it. 75 reinforced iron plates. I could be doing worse things with my time. Let's do this quickly. I've got all the resources. Ooh, it's just the rotors that I'm going to be struggling with. So let's grab all of them. And let's grab uh, a ton of rods. That will probably be nowhere near enough, however, that's going to have to do for now. I can hope it's enough. I've never made a rotor. I don't know what it requires. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, so I have a new few more things unlocked as well. A rotor, that takes... Oh, that's actually not that expensive. Alright, we just need to make a ton of screws for the iron plates and the rotors. Wow, this is going to take a while. Um, right. I might set you... No, I'm not going to set that to make screws. It is faster just to do it like this. Because we've already got 200 out of them. And it takes a little click just to get it done. Whereas in the constructors it will take a while. Right, I'll be back in a 
a minute or two. Okay, we're back over here. Oh, it was 50 rotors, not 20. Okay, that's fine because I brought with me... Let's get the craft bench here. I brought with me everything I need, in theory, to make more of them. So we need another 30 rotors. That shouldn't take that long. Okay, the screws are taking a little while to make. All right, we'll just chat in the meantime. How is everybody enjoying the Satisfactory series so far? If you do have a PC, I would definitely recommend getting this game because, honestly, it is so fun. I think I've probably sunk about 20-odd hours into the game so far. I am really enjoying it. And also, if you're not already, please come out to the Twitch streams. I am streaming not to any specific schedule, but I'm streaming as much as I can before the baby comes. I'm trying to get partnered on Twitch. I'm not focusing on it, but I think it would be an awesome little thing to happen. And if you play Last Day on Earth Survival, which is the other main game I post to the channel, ooh, then you'll be able to get free in-game loot through the Twitch drop system. Sealed it. Do we see anything happening? No? Okay. Now let's send the delivery. Okay, the texture is freaking out a little bit. That's totally not ruining this moment for me. Can we move to a different angle so it stays fit? No, we can't. There we go, we have blasted all of our resources off into space. For no feasible reason that I can yet understand. But we did it. Now what happens? Next you want 500 modular frames and 150 motors. Well, I guess that's going to take a while, especially since I do not have the ability to craft motors yet. Right. Delivery unlocked tier 5 and 6. Ah, we have just unlocked the, 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 the space elevator tier. So tier 3, 4 and 5, or tier 4 and 5, something like that. Let's take a look. And then yeah, let's just take a look. Hub tunnel. Tier 3, tier 4. There we go. That is a lot of things. Right. Coal power. We can get a tractor. Truck station. Either send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory of 48 slots. Transfers up to 120 stacks per minute to and from dock vehicle or is refuels. Vehicles, as it has, if it has access to matching fuel type, we got a coal generator and a scanner update upgrade to find coal. A conveyor belt Mark II. Okay, it's just a faster conveyor belt. Conveyor pole stackable. Conveyor pole fixed size that is stackable. That sounds quite useful. A rebar gun. Improvised ranged weapon for self-defense has to be reloaded after each use. Spiked rebar. And biomass made from something. Not sure what that is, but that looks cool. And then we got the tier 4 steel production. The miner mark 2. Extract solid resources from the resources node it's built on. Normal extractive rate is 120 resources per minute. The extraction rate is modified depending on resource node purity. Outputs all extracted resources onto connected conveyor belts. Foundry smelts two resources into alloy ingots, steel ingot, steel beam, steel pipe. Okay, there is a lot more to this game than I thought. Improved melee combat, a Xeno Basher. Heavy electroshock self defense weapon for melee range, plus five inventory slots. And the final logistics that we have at the moment storage container Mark II, 48 slots. Basically, giant storage container and an even faster conveyor belt. Damn, we have just found a lot of stuff. Okay, well, you know what? I think we have probably got an aim for the next video. I think I might have actually recorded a little bit of the work I was doing on the base up on the factory building upgrade. So that will have been in the video too. So I am actually trying to keep the video to a slightly shorter length this time deliberately so I can fit a few more bits into the next video. 
and because it's quarter past one in the morning and I want to go to bed. So thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed. We have built a space elevator and we now have a load of more upgrades to be working on. Coal power is the one I want the most because that is going to get us that little dune buggy thing. Well not dune buggy, let's see what is it, a tractor. I, I just want to use the tractor, that's all, don't care about anything else now. I want the tractor. Expect to rebuild that. This is getting interesting. Right, thanks a lot, you people. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Goodbye.